Let's take a look at how the Ulean portfolio of solutions supports the different flows that we mentioned in the introduction video concerning development work. In our example, there are three projects, Phoenix, Gamma and Jupiter, which all belongs to the HD portfolio. We have one person, let's call him Jonas, who is involved in two of these projects, Phoenix and Gamma. Jonas is an engineer, so function-wise he belongs to the engineering team, where he has the colleagues Russell, Betty and Doug. Let's sneak into the weekly meeting of Project Gamma, where some interesting things are happening. On this board, there are three rows which represent people participating in the project. For the sake of simplicity, our project teams are small, so here is only Jonas from engineering, Diane from sales and marketing, and Lisa, who is the project manager. In addition, there is another row which has no personal affiliation, but is only for visualizing milestones. Finally, there is an inbox row. It is for placing items that are related to events coming from the outside and are to be planned for either milestones, deliverables or activities. In this particular company, they have decided on a standard of the color coding of notes. Yellow notes are activities and blue notes are deliverables or milestones. By following these rules, it is easy for the project team as well as anyone coming into the team to get a good view of what is going on. But let's not mess with this team's inbox and confuse them. The particular meeting we are attending is a follow-up from last week where everyone explains what they have done and together plan for the weeks ahead. Jonas marks his previous activity as done. Diane marks her activity as done as well. Jonas has to move the driver observation to next week as the list of drivers was late. He moves it to next week. This also means that the milestones need to move. Your lean system helps to indicate this delay with a black dot. While planning, the team decides that it's also important to do driver interviews after the observations. Jonas plans that on Thursday, but also puts a red frame around, which means he will have to get some help from his colleagues. Zooming out from a two-week view to a six-week view, the team notes that an important milestone is coming up. Lisa plans the specification for approval in week six, as soon as Jonas finishes it and connects it to the milestone. Let's follow Jonas into the other project he's working in, Phoenix. The product board is similar to that of Gamma. As we enter the meeting, the product team has already gone through meeting items related to individual follow-up and planning. The product has a rather critical deviation and we will now witness how they use Yulin's solution to visualize and communicate the deviation to the portfolio management team in the HD portfolio. The problem is that the selected supplier is expecting problems and will not be able to commit to the product according to the plan. The product has to decide whether to delay the project or to select a different supplier. This type of strategic decision is not up to the product and therefore this has to be elevated towards the portfolio team. Also, regardless of direction, the product will need extra resources from the purchasing function. To do this, the product simply selects one of their milestones and put a red frame around it, and add a question in the connected red node to clarify. In this company, the Yolene solution is configured to automatically show this on the board of the product portfolio team. Let us fast forward one day which is when the portfolio management team meets and take a look at their board that they use for planning and do follow-up of the portfolio. The portfolio team can see that one milestone has moved in Project Gamma, just like we witnessed a few moments ago. They can see this as it has added a black dot to the note automatically. They can also see the deviation that has been highlighted from the project Phoenix. It is decided that Phoenix is far too strategic to delay, so the purchasing manager gets the task to provide Phoenix with a short list of alternative suppliers. The yellow note shows up in Phoenix inbox, as it is something they will have to plan activities for. Let us also follow Jonas to the visual management meeting that his group manager is holding to make sure that the workload inside the engineering function is manageable. On this board, we will see a line for each person belonging to the engineering group. From the looks of it, it is obvious that Jonas has a heavy workload. As we remember, he has even marked two of these nodes as red to signal that he needs support from his colleagues on this challenging task. The group can have a discussion and Betty can help Jonas out with the driver interviews. Finally, to round this off, let's look into Jonas' situation. He has a task in two projects and is also a task planned outside of the projects he is involved in. Jolene helps Jonas remember his commitments in a personal board we call My Commitments. This is Jonas' personal board 
which is automatically compiled based on his commitments, where each row represents a source of commitments, and where we can see that Jonas has commitments in two projects, Phoenix and Gamma, and he also has commitments outside of these projects related to activities planned on the board for the engineering group to which he belongs. Let us briefly summarize the benefits related to the different roles involved in development work. For the product manager, the main benefits are synchronized activities, deliverables and milestones, clear ownership of work packages, and highlighting an escalation of deviations. For the resource manager, the benefits are a stimulated knowledge transfer between individuals, to be able to quickly identify and resolve bottlenecks, and to keep a balanced workload in the group. The individual worker gets the benefit from balancing the personal workload, keeping track of commitments, and signalizing problems and request support. Finally, the portfolio managers get the benefit from identifying and prioritize critical deviations, and quickly provide resources and decisions needed for projects to progress. To stay competitive, you need to make your flows lean. Let your lean help you on this journey.